Panic in Sudan's capital Khartoum as shots were fired towards protesters who were setting up barricades. The army says the protest outside the Ministry of Defense has become a hub for criminals and is posing a danger to the state. But thousands of demonstrators are defying warnings from the military to stop their sit-in. They say they'll keep up the pressure until their demands for a civilian government are met. As for the use of aggression against protesters, this is not new. This is, has always been the case uh, with al-Bashir regime. And I personally think the TMC is an extension of al-Bashir. And this is the only language they understand. It's bullets and, and firing at civilians. A military council has been in charge since longtime President Omar al-Bashir was deposed in April. Analysts say external powers may now be influencing what's happening inside Sudan. After having visited Saudi Arabia, uh, General Burhan and, and his vice, Hamiti, they came up with a different uh, look. They, they are now putting a different face. Uh, previously, they were very diplomatic in their uh, appeal to the people. Now they are very blunt. There are also reports of gunfire in Sudan's second largest city, Omdurman, where there have been regular protests before and since Bashir's removal. Talks between the military council and the opposition coalition to form a transitional government were suspended two weeks ago, after the two sides failed to agree on who will lead the transitional period. The military council says if no progress is made, it will call for elections before the end of the year, a move rejected by the opposition. The risk of violence is increasing as the standoff between protesters and government forces intensifies. But protesters say they are determined to stand their ground until the military hands over power. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.